What is going on everybody? It's Ryan here and today we're going to do a quick tech talk. I have the beautiful, magnificent Valentine Saplin here. Sorry for all the shaking. This new webcam I have is attached to my laptop and when I touch the desk it shakes. So I apologize for that, but hopefully the audio quality is good enough for this and we'll be able to chat. We'll do some talks about some cool stuff. Got my, uh, my, I was going to say headphones, my sunglasses, these Bose sunglasses. They're bone cut off. Why don't you put them on for everybody to see? Okay. And they play music. So why don't you go ahead, press the button there. Okay. Where's the music? You can't hear it? Um, I don't know how to turn this on actually. Oh, it's not connected. Anyways. What we, you gotta press the button right here. So this is the Bose headphones. I forgot what the brand is. I'll put a link in the description in case you're curious about it. I also got this cool microphone. The Shure. Hopefully, I, I sound nice and close and quiet and personal, and the quality's good. Cool thing too is a little volume on here. I can like just go down this here. I'm talking, but the volume is going down. Then you put the volume up, which is kind of neat. And there's actually a little mute button too. Oops, that's probably too loud. I can talk and unmuted. Now you can hear me. So we're going to talk about this microphone a little bit. We're going to talk about this new camera that I bought here, the Logitech Brio. Cool. So you can see right there, that's what it looks like. It's kind of cool, right? Links for all of this will be in the description. And I'll just kind of give you my opinion about all these cool three things. Um, let's talk about the headphones first, right? Or the headphones, the sunglasses. The thing I like about these is an open ear design, right? It's kind of meant to be like a bone conductor. What it does is it makes it so that it just sticks to your, presses against your skull, and then just kind of vibrates, uh, and you hear music. Or if you want, listen to podcasts. I like it because I can just, I don't have anything in my ear. It's really open. I kind of like it. The one thing I don't like about it is sometimes it's not loud enough, and that's and that's fine because you know just outside noise. Um, At school. What? Um. When. I did something in the on my on my computer in school when I was wearing my headphones too much. I started to hit, so I had to do it. This I'm glad Dad bought this. But I will say that the reason why I just wanted to really try what these were like, and I have to say that I really like them a lot. And you know what? For 250 bucks, I mean, I've bought glasses that are 250 bucks or more that don't have a speaker on them and I think this is neat. So I also did not like the particular lenses they had. I forgot what came, what they came with. I replaced these. And they're 30 or 40 bucks to replace. I think they're like 40 bucks to replace, maybe 60. So overall it is not cheap, but it, you know, comparable to what else is out there, it's probably the best thing you can get as far as sunglass headphones. And they're Bose, so that's a good brand. So there's that. Should you buy them? I don't know. I think they're worth trying. I don't I guess the thing I didn't like about them at first is they're a little they feel a little too flashy. I kind of want a little bit more low profile. I prefer like the uh, kind of aviator style kind of headphones. Also, this is kind of like big and bulky here, which I don't particularly like, but I've gotten used to it and it's fine. Another thing I don't like about it too is that it kind of presses against the, uh, the head a little bit firmly and I don't like it or was not uncomfortable with it, but I've become more comfortable with it and it's not too bad. Um, but so far, so good. Maybe I'll make an in-depth review, but I just, whatever, talking about this. The other thing I'll talk about is this camera. Um, not the camera, I'll talk about the microphone. Actually, if you look, there'll be a, a video, an unlisted video in the description that will compare basically the first kind of version of this video. I was trying to make a tech video like this, uh, talking about tech, but then I forgot to turn this mic on, and I just used the inboard mic with the, uh, the inboard mic on the, the onboard bike on my, on my MacBook Pro. So you can get a good comparison as far as what the audio sounds like as comparison to having this. And if you're interested, you can look at that. What else do I have? But I do like this mic. It's pretty cool. Again, one of the reasons why I got this mic was because I wanted something like the flagship Shure's SM7Bs. Uh, SM7B, it's kind of a flagship microphone a lot of podcasters use. It's really high quality. But the problem with that microphone is it requires a lot of gear requires a mixer. I think the mic itself is like 400 bucks, maybe 500. And then after you buy all these other stuff for it, you end up basically paying, paying six or $700. And it's really just takes up space. And I didn't want to have a too bulky of a setup. Um, so that's kind of why I went with this because this was an alternative to it that was able to be a, uh, a USB version. Um, and hopefully it does sound good. 
The other thing that I'm going to talk about now is this camera. This camera is the, the, the Logitech Brio. It's pretty cool. I mean, again, it's just, a, it's just a webcam, but probably one of the highest quality webcams re currently recording in 4K. I will say that it is a pretty legit uh, camera. It looks pretty good. I think that um, for the most part, for it being a webcam, I mean, it's, it's no DSLR on the mixer. But for, for what it can do, I, I like it. So maybe I will be able to show more that I can do with it. I don't know if I really have a basis of a comparison or to what to show this to compare to. But um, it's, I think 130 bucks, 140 bucks I paid for it. Primarily off the recommendation of, I've seen it before, but I got the, I saw a recommendation in, in Tim Ferriss's Five Bullet Friday. Um, and it was pretty cool. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Click like if you haven't already. If you want to take a look at this stuff and buy off my affiliate links, you can buy them. Click the link in the description. But I'll see you all later. Say bye. Bye-bye.